Alright, this is the Law of Attraction rating. Um, mostly talks about what it is, what you want, um, where you should be focused, um, where your focus is taking you, advice, comments, um, something worth considering. So, we have a dog, which is lovely, um, a duck, and a crystal. So, pick whichever resonates, and we will start the readings. Yes, I have music on because I have a headache. Ugh, it's too hot in this room. Alright, we have the doggy. Alright, what is? Alright, so we have the six of pentacles, which is generosity, shared wealth, prosperity, balance, and support. So that's what's going on. Generosity, wealth, prosperity. Yeah. Alright, and then we have what do you want? The Queen of Swords. Probably does. Let's see. Sword is an air sign, right? I think so. Alright, so supportive, empathetic, encouraging, protective, independent. So, this person probably <laughs> is more like a mom figure. Um, a lot of people have this kind of geno, um, where they protect other people that are kind of uh, foolish, I think. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's, it's a weird energy to get into of what exactly attracts the Queen of Swords. Um, where are you focused? Um... Let's see, Pisces in reverse, the moon in reverse. So overcoming fear, finding truth, conquering anxiety, gaining clarity. So you want to talk to this person and you have anxiety because they might, um, <laughs> they might tear you apart. Um, they are the queen of swords after all. Um, they like their independence. Um, but, you know, it's it's probably going to take you longer to <laughs> get this, you know, the courage up to go talk to this person than it will be for this person to reject you. My physics teacher was a little bit of a cynic that way. Um, he was like, oh, if you're ever scared to talk to somebody, you know, inertia is a thing. <laughs> you know? I'm like, ugh, this sucks. And then we have where your focus is taking you. Um, death. <laughs> so, ending of a cycle, getting rid of excess, powerful movement, revelations. So, you're kind of on a train to, um, it could change a lot of aspects of myself, of my life. This person could actually accept you, and you don't even know about it yet. But, um, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Um, but that's your thing, not mine. Um, then we have advice or comments. Um, we have the Page of Wands in reverse. The Page of Wands in reverse is lack of seriousness and inability to commit a person who cannot progress forward, a messenger with bad intentions. Um, so <laughs> this is you. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> then we have something worth considering. The Five of Pentacles. Um, something worth considering. An amazing love life, a good partnership, loyal friends, a fulfilling sex life, happiness and affairs of the heart. So if you don't venture forward towards this, you are missing out on a chance of a lifetime. <laughs> Isn't that something else? 
Don't we all do that? Ah, uh, fine. Uh, mm. Has a very, very mature, very offish kind of energy. Um, you're trying to be cool and you're kind of awkward about it. Very funny. Anyway, group one, if this is you, leave a like. If you like this um, reading, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas for my next video, leave them in the comment section below and I will read those. Um, this is a very crazy reading. <laughs> Alright, uh, my little doggies. And then we have the duck. <laughs> the duck. Alright, duck duck group. Alright, we have what is. What is is the seven of wands. The Seven of Wands, conviction, standing up for your beliefs, um, strong will, defiant, um, determ determined. Um, so this could be a turning point, this you standing up for yourself. This actually becoming more of your inner voice, um, wanting to take a stand for belief system that you hold dearly. Um, what do you want? The Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. Um, start of something new, an exciting time, a brilliant idea, establishing of a business, a fire in your belly. So it could be um, that you come up with an idea for a business or you're going with your inner voice to a truth that has been hidden inside you for a really long time. Um, so you're trying to go forth and make it into re a reality. So it's a new energy being put forth with you. Then you have, where are you focused? Um, the page of pentacles in reverse. Um, is in debt, lack of money. Um, champagne lifestyle on a lemonade budget. Immaturity with finances. So you could... Be kind of a spendthrift as far as money is concerned, but you kind of want that high lifestyle. So you want to start your own business and maybe become really successful. Um, but you kind of need to kind of pinch your pennies a little bit more and not spend over your means for the future advice. Um, where your focus is taking you, um, the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is a worldly foe, friends, lovers who are on your level, um, love, um, affection, and intensity of worldly allies. So this could be friends that are helping you with your business, or friends helping you, um, establish, um, your, you know, your voice, really, if you're protesting. Um, but if you are protesting, be very careful out there. Um, I do wish you the best. And then we have advice or comments. Um, we have the magician. The magician is willpower, creation, manifestation, and resourcefulness. Um, sometimes you find your resources in odd places, especially if you're protesting or you're in business. You find people everywhere if you just talk to them. Um, you can really network in a room of people if you have a chance or in a small crowd of people. Um, and you find a lot of really resourceful vendors or people that have a lot of information that will be free to you but will be informational and would drive your business forward or your organization forward if that makes sense. And then we have something worth considering which is the nine of pentacles in reverse. The nine of pentacles in reverse 
his financial um, dependency, <laughs> success at all costs, trapped in a hustle, disconnection, and pride. So you could be lost in your pride and maybe you are fighting a losing fight or maybe your business isn't doing too well because of your own um, your own lifestyle. You could be putting an anchor in your rowboat before you even make it two inches from shore. So you might need to change some habits, change some spending habits, let go of things that may be a little bit out of your price range at this moment in time in order to be successful and take some money home <laughs> to the savings bank. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, you might need to change your whole lifestyle or find something that you like on the cheap. Um, you might have to do that a lot. Instead of going to designer stores, you might need to go thrift shopping. Um, and thrift shopping has its own set of rules. So you might want to do that, alright? And if you're doing protesting, like I said, I wish you all the best. Anyway, group two, if you like this reading, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or ideas for my next video, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll read those. Anyway, later, group two. Crystal group. I love this crystal because it looks like a shoe. <laughs> All right, we have the third group. What is? What are you doing? What is? Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is chance, destiny, fate, um, karma, turning points, and life cycles. So, yeah, this could be a really good time for you to try your luck at something, or try something new, because luck is on your side. Beginner's luck, what can I say? Um, what you want is going to be the Five of Cups. Five of Cups is inheritances, sums of money, learning um, from your mistakes, valuable experiences being earned. So, you really are um, putting your best foot forward. Um, you're using your luck to your benefit and actually reconciling differences between maybe friends, relatives, things like that in order to um, have the best karma, which is good. Best karma to attract good things to you instantly. So that's why that's probably happening, the, f the Wheel of Fortune. Um... Where are you focused? Um, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse is lack of um, quality, um, workaholic, um, dead end roads, or um, arrogance. So um, there could be a lot of arrogance. Um, and that could stifle your creativity or your work. Um, because some people don't forget if somebody was rude to them or something. So you kind of have to be patient with them. Um, you might want to have everything go hunky-dory and, you know, talk to your relatives. But a lot of them will hold a grudge against you. A lot of friends might. Um... But it's everybody at their own thing, so you have to take um, what they give you and, you know, just remember that it takes some people longer than others. Even if your attentions are good, so it's kind of like the first impression's the lasting one. Um, you have where your focus is taking you, um, the Emperor. Which is authority, control, a father figure, establishment. So, um, so you're, you're you're making like a foundation of like a good, solid, um, like knowing of something or um, for something to happen. Um, you're trying to bring in really good karma, attract really good things to you. 
make things work that um, usually didn't help you. But um, you're trying to make everything work like a well-oiled machine. And then we have advice and or compliment. Also, it could be comment too. Um, we have the lovers, the lovers. So love, harmony, um, choices, um, value, of alignment. So there could be somebody in the midst that might actually have a crush on you and sees you doing this. And then they're like, ooh, you know, they're doing some stuff. They're really making headway. They're an entirely different person from what I knew before, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you might have a love connection soon. Um, and it could be friendly. It could be just like a friendship. But, um, yeah, people admire you for, you know, trying to have patience with people and trying to do the right thing in your own life. So, okay, something worth considering, um, the high priestess in reverse, the high priestess in reverse is silence, repressed feelings, withdraw, disconnect from intuition. Um, so your intuition is there to tell you about danger. That makes sense. Um, with mine, it it's kind of like having having a TV on or you know a computer on all night and it keeps going through the channels of like YouTube or different websites. Oh, but my intuition is really heavy. Like I kind of know the cards I'm gonna draw before I draw them, type thing. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of big. Anyway, try not to disconnect from your intuition because if you're ever in danger um, and it's kind of heightened, um, it'll help you out. Like, you'll know, oh, I have to stay away from this person because they don't have the best intention. Um, because people that don't have the best intention kind of... I don't want to say they have a prick personality. But yeah, their energy actually feels like it's repressed. But it's like, it's oppressed outward, like a thorn. So if somebody has bad intentions towards you, you'll feel it. Um, if you're in touch with your spirituality and your intuition's a little bit too on the nose. Um, anyway, group three, I hope this was informational for you, and I hope you found this insightful. And whatever you're doing, I, I hope it all works out. Um, anyway, if you like this reading, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas for the next video, leave them in the comments section, <laughs> section below, and I will read those. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.